Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to talk about this tool that I use all the time in my videos, the dim bulb tester. So what this is, is it's a safety device, basically. It assures that when you're working on a receiver and you want to power it up for the first time or after you've done work on it, it makes it so you don't damage anything inside of your receiver. I'm going to explain how this works with a piece of paper and kind of walk you through what this is electrically. Okay, so really it's quite simple. You're going to start right here with your wall outlet. In America it's 120 volts AC. And uh, here's what's going to happen. So we've got our positive right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it to a switch, which is right there. And then what's going to happen here is you're going to put this through a resistor, which is your light bulb. And we're going to come around here. And then this right here is your amplifier. And then it goes back to ground. That's literally all this is. It really is that simple. All you're doing is you're taking your amplifier, you're putting it in series with a light bulb and controlling it with a switch. And what this does is say you've got a short in your amplifier and this is zero ohms. All of the current is going to be taken up by your light bulb. Your fuse will not blow. All of it's going to go right here and your amp is going to be safe say you had the wrong rating fuse in there and you didn't have it on here well something bad might happen you might have uh, high heat or a fire or something so this is a safety device it ta makes it so your uh, resistor here this light bulb protects your amplifier so let's go inside of this thing now here's what's going on back here what we've got is a switch an outlet this uh, little casing thing the housing and then this is actually an extension cord that I cut the end off of and then used the scrap wire to make two little jumpers right here and here. So, like I said, this is creating that uh, series circuit that I showed in that picture. But here's what's really important to know. This outlet has been modified so that it can create that series circuit. Because when you buy these from the hardware store, they are put together in parallel. So you can see right here on this one you've got that little bus bar thing that's connecting these two things which goes to these two pins right here. But if these two were connected well you'd basically have a short circuit right there and then this would all be in parallel. So what I did was you see this little bus bar thingy right here. On that end I took this part and I broke it off so that these two are no longer electrically connected on this side. So basically what we've got going here is off of the switch we start here and then your lamp completes the circuit to here and then the current goes to here and then completes the circuit to here and then it goes back to the switch. I don't think it matters where you put your lamp or amplifier, I just labeled them this way because I wanted to. That's really all it is. It's quite, quite simple to uh, make this happen. And yet, in before, you know, you say I should have strain relief on this wire. Yes, I know I should have strain relief on this wire, but guess what? It's been working for almost 10 years now. It's caused me no issues. It's the first time I've opened it up since I built it. And, uh, well, I just treat it as if there's no strain relief, and then it's not a problem for me. This isn't a uh, piece of consumer electronics where you have to assume the uh, end user is a total idiot. I think now we can go to a uh, demonstration of how this works and how this can protect your gear. Okay, so I'm going to give a demonstration right now of why this is a good tool to have. So, I will plug this in now. This is why I have my lamp the way I do, it's because it works well as a work light and I can also use it as my dim bulb tester bulb. You can get one of those uh, bulb holders that plugs right into this thing but you know this works just fine for me. So let me plug this in. 
And now we're going to take this Marantz 2215B that I've been working on and we're going to plug it into here. So we're going to turn this on and we see that the bulb did not turn on because this isn't drawing any nasty current. But what if you were working on this thing and you messed something up and you've got a really bad short in here that's going to, you know, draw a lot of current and potentially damage something in here. Well, let's take this thing. We're going to short an output to ground right now. So, so I just put this on one of the pins of an output transistor in here and I've shorted it to ground. So let's see what happens when I do this now. See that? Really bright light. What, what's happening here is this is taking all of the current from this, what I just did, and making it so it happens there and not here. So let's try this again. We turn it back on. Works. If I didn't have this, it would have blown a fuse. And if the fuse was the wrong rating, well, it could have been even worse. So that is why you use a dim bulb tester when you're doing repairs on stereos. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.